my god boys it's time to wake up <laughs> what's going on everybody hope you guys are doing well a little wake up uh tuesday evening action for you here 10 o'clock here with american truck simulator ftr motorsports car hauler pack coming at you Woo! tell you what man that right there will wake your butt up man I like that tune. We wore it out there for a while. I, ha I had to retire it for just a little bit, man. We, we had to, whew, we had to bring it down a couple levels, you know. Bring it back some EDM music, and you know, bring it back up to some chill stuff in there. So, <laughs> oh, I know, man. I was sitting there going, yeah, man. I, I want to say hey to the guys, but I also want to enjoy this at full volume in the old headset, you know. <laughs> I, had to, I had to take it up a notch. I was like, yeah, we might have to wait a little bit on this one, man. <laughs> I know they hit that that last uh, that last double. Um, Oh, Cheryl, you shouldn't have. Yeah, that's all right. You know, not everybody's a lover. <clears throat> but I appreciate you coming in the chat. That's actually pretty cool. What's up, Dad? Louie, what's up, man? Oh, man, no Slam Volvo. No, we don't have a Slam Volvo. We do have another Slam truck. Actually, we have two, actually. Yeah, we, we have two. Yeah, <laughs> no double. What's up, man? Bean, I might can see a Kales. What's up, man? Oh. <laughs> yeah, I know. I know. I know. <laughs> what's up, man? LaMantia, what's up? Bean, I'm fine. Good to see you, man. Highland Winterwolf. Good to see you, man. Elijah as well. Blizz Creek. Lorenzo, what's up, man? How are you, Brian? Good to see you, man. What's up? That's a Savlat. What's up, man? Daddy O, what's up, Master Dork? Good to see you there. Chin Chill as well. Thomas, uh, good to see you guys as well. CSX Rail fan, what's up? Bankers, uh, Cooper, what's up, man? Our Chief Train, hello, Raphael, Austin. Hey, Austin, thanks there for the five dollars super chat, man. Appreciate it there. Steven Ortiz, thanks for the uh, sub as well, man. Slam truck for what's up, LHP? Good to see you, buddy. Hope you're doing good, man. Island Crawler, what's happening, man? Good to see you guys. All right, tell you what, man. Let's go ahead. Let's roll this out. Let's get started. Let's get on the drive today. I think you guys are going to like this stuff. We got a new release for you guys. Uh, totally free on all fronts. So we're going to have a little bit more talking about that. You guys are going to see what we're doing. And we will release everything here uh, sometime here in the stream. And you guys here in chat are going to get it first. And then I'll upload later to the Discord. Uh, so I'd love to see pics in the Discord as well. Some of your favorite Facebook groups. Send me some links. Uh, DMs here on uh, Discord. More on that here in just a minute. I, I kind of want to let this finish out. Let's just turn it up and let's let this finish out a little bit. It's my favorite part. Love that section. I don't know. Then it's got a da -da 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 Love it. All right. How long was the stream? It's just like woo. This makes yeah. What's up, Z? Hissle the gamer. What's up, Brian? Good to see you, man. All right. Tell you what. Let's roll it. We'll get back. Told you that was like a really, really quick one there. <clears throat> All right, so uh, I have been hard and hard, hard, hard at work. Um, so I finally, I think. Um, so anyway, I've been uh, hard at work. Let me adjust this just a little bit. There we go. I've uh, been hard at work here on a brand new uh, stuff here. So we've got. Uh, if you guys have Ruda's three eighty nine. Uh, so we are, uh, so I've been working on an FTR Motorsports. So FTR Motorsports is a full tilt racing motorsports. This is what we use for my, um, uh, for my iRacing, uh, iRacing truck or at least car anyway. And, uh, I used to, I did a lot more of that than I have had here in the past couple the girls are finally started back to school. So hopefully some of this mess with COVID will kind of start to kind of, will start to get out of that. Um, but at any rate, uh, I've got two new skins for you today. So we're going to drive two trucks today. We've got a pretty decent haul here on the first part. We'll see how we get, get along. Um, uh, and then if we have to stop, fine, it's fine. I've just, I picked the load up. Um, I've got a couple of things for you today. So we got two skins, uh, one for the Rudis 389 that'll work on pretty much everything that you have. And you're seeing that right here. Uh, the second one is a custom for the Freightliner Cascadia, which is on the workshop, which uh, everybody, every race team has Cascadia, which is uh, a lot of stuff. So I'm actually going to talk to one of the guys 
uh, that did some, you'll see a custom private mod that I have done by one of our very own here with uh, FTG. Uh, and then I'm going to talk to him maybe about releasing that as like a, you know, as like a FTG thing here in the discord. Um, so if you wanted that one, you can certainly get along with it, but no promises on updates, that kind of thing. Cause it is like a custom edit. Uh, but this, it, the skin will work on the regular uh, deal. So you'll get one file for, for everything. It rules them all. Also, uh, the NASCAR hauler that we're going to be hauling today. Well, actually, let's go ahead. Let's, 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 let's start it up here. Um, so here she is. Um, let's do this. All right. So, whoops. All right. So there you go. So there's what she looks like all together. So uh, you've got a car hauler. Now, there's a bunch of these car haulers out there. Uh, but this car hauler is the best one that I've found. Now, this one does not have all the NASCAR stuff with it. This one's generally towards the Shelby. Uh, it's towards all of the other, like the Shelby. I think it's got a, one or two other hot rods, like maybe like the Barrett's auction, um, you know, whatever they call that, uh, car auction deal. So anyway, this is the best trailer that I've found, um, and it is superb. It was done by a guy off of Facebook, and they uploaded it. Um, so I've kept his original link inside of the description so if you want to grab the trailer uh we'll get you the skin pack john root is 3d9 and freightliner cascade is the two trucks we'll be featuring for today's stream uh and then we'll be uh, cycling this one out so yeah it did man it did jerry what's up man uh so this is this is good and uh yeah so let's go ahead let's uh let's go ahead and let's get fired up here um Uh, I might have to. We might have to. Uh, we might have to take down our uh, our visor so we can actually see. I didn't realize it would be quite that bad. <laughs> What's up, Chaos? How you, man? Uh, I do, Austin. It's uh, shoot. I think it's still at the. I think it's still at the bottom of uh, the description. It's a little dated. It was probably one of the first like legit face videos that I did, um, but it's kind of the, the the build itself is out of date now, you know, unfortunately. <laughs> so, what's up, Sheldon? So we are also in Dunlap, Iowa. Uh, thank you there for five dollar uh, five dollar super chat question there. Um, but yeah, so anyway, we're, we're in Iowa, so we're great America map. Uh, we've been, we've been driving here for, uh, quite a bit. So we're going to be, uh, we'll be taking off here and, and we'll get going here. You'll get eyes, we get to see a little bit of this, but the reason I did pick this is cause there's quite a bit of, um, there's quite a bit of, uh, open road driving on this one. Nice chaos. Nice, buddy. Nice. Yes, sir, Michael. This is the game, if you want to call it a game. We like to think that it's not a game. But yes, it's it's a game, man. It's a simulator. <laughs> Although someone do it. Thank you there, Jamie. Appreciate it, man. All right, so we already got, uh, we've already, I think, got the car loaded up. I think, pretty sure. Yeah, that's what we'll tell people. It's a, <laughs> it's a simulator. <laughs> so by far, this has been one of my favorite trucks. Um, you know, trailers as well. Uh, I have been, I've been, I've been on a, I've been on a skidding kick. Uh, and I don't exactly know why I just kind of got into these things and you know anybody that mods or does anything for a certain amount of time um, you know you, you kind of get into these things and then you kind of take a break from it, you come back to it you get back into it again so here the past like week or two I've really 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 gotten heavy deep on this and uh, and doing this so uh, so I really like it if you like this trailer I've got a link for it in the description it is free uh, there is also if you go to that link um, uh, it'll you'll grab the hauler uh, the truck is John Rudis 389, and uh, the other second uh, vehicle that we'll be pulling today is Freightliner Cascadia out of the workshop. So go ahead and get that while you've uh, while you've got a minute here. Go ahead and grab that one, and then we'll uh, and then I'll uh, sometime here in the stream I'm gonna go ahead and release this up to you guys. You guys get the first crack of it, 
uh, and then we'll uh, and then I'll release it here in the Discord a little bit later on. So if you guys need to come back and grab it, uh, you can certainly grab it right out of the Discord. So, well, uh, well today will be a little bit of driving. We've done a couple of uh, building drives, and uh, those have been really, really, really good. So uh, we'll uh, we'll continue on here, do a little driving today, chill out time. So you guys got questions? Uh, I believe you know what? Yes, Larry, we are using N14. Um, if you guys got questions, especially about stuff, a uh, good time to answer it. I'll be, uh, we'll, we'll be actually driving and, and doing some, uh, yeah, doing some actual trucking today. So, what's up, Rez? Thank you there, Neon Gamers. Appreciate it, man. Thank you there, Game Big. Got to watch these turns. Whoa, two wheels. Yeah, I, I'm, yeah, let me, yeah, I'm with you, I'm with you there, man. Yeah, I wish he had, uh, like, the old school 389 dash. I'm a sucker for that one, man. I love Viper's 389 dash. I, if I could, man, I would mod that dash into every 389 I had. Ah, <laughs> uh, the engine brake, let's see what it sounds like. Pretty legit. Thank you there, Hero Brian 198. Thank you, man. Yeah, because we'll have a we'll have a good bit of um, we should have a good bit of um, what should we call it? A good bit of interstate driving today. Yeah, we'll we'll try our best there, Mark. All right, back in Nebraska we go. Oh, nice, Lorenzo. Congrats, buddy. Good you're doing good, man. <laughs> How's Scooter doing? <laughs> I guess he's fine. He's doing a lot of peeing on the floor, so... He's getting old, man. Sucking, too. It's like, dang it. Oh, we should have kept that J-break going. I didn't realize we were stomping. Oh. Stomp. Okay, we're we're going for it. Hope Nami's coming. <laughs> Blitz, we're using the Great America map. One of the best ones for some of your Midwest. If you guys are uh, Midwest fans, uh, this is definitely the, one of the best ones to get. Yeah, I can't do, I don't like doing roll coal. Um, it really serves, well, that's probably, oh yeah, it's a big old rock pit there, good lord. Uh, I don't really dig the whole roll coal thing. It uh, it takes a ton of, uh, takes a ton of resources for your computer to actually run that. Um, so I typically just don't like it. Um, uh, some Sometimes we get into some of these mods, uh, can really run, just wreak havoc on a system. And I, and a lot of these, man, I just can't I can't stand doing it. Um, and it really doesn't look that real. It doesn't come on with the accelerator. It doesn't come on with anything else. It's just like it just it just is all the time going. So even when the truck's off, it's still going. So it just looks stupid. Because a lot of people see them in pictures and then think, oh, well, they look they look good, you know, because they're in a picture. And yeah, it's not necessarily the case. So for every meter, could see a man watching for work tonight. What's up, Alex? Yeah, on console. Yeah, yeah. I don't. I don't know if it's ever going to be a console thing. Yeah, we're not online today. 
Yeah, we're not online. I wish we were online with this truck trailer. <laughs> That'd be cool. Um, but Thunderwolf, I mean, maybe. I typically don't do stuff that doesn't... Uh, I usually have a, a break of time, so I typically don't do things that necessarily aren't channel related just because typically on the military stuff, there's quite a bit that's out there already. Um, you might have to dig around for some of it. Now, some of the newer trucks, honestly, you're not going to find a lot of public available skins for them anyway because Lord help if you upload any kind of skin to Steam Workshop, especially if it's a Ruda truck, man. People just start screaming at you because we should be promoting payware stuff on Steam. And I feel bad for Polly. Every time Polly throws something up there that's payware on Steam Workshop, people literally just, they, they attack him for it. I'm like, well, this isn't serving anybody any good. <laughs> what do you mean, life behind the wheel? We're on a... Thomas, bro! What? It... <laughs> this is a 389 Custom. You're watching it. There's no need for me to make it. We're a real life behind the wheel uh, NASCAR heavy hauler... Uh, uh, yeah, 389 custom. You're literally watching it. <laughs> what? Oh, God. What's up, Kenny Jr.? Outlaw Buds. Well, hello. Oh, hello. Hello. Yeah, that was a hello. Let's go and jump out here. That's the wrong one. There we go. What's up, Original? How are you, man? Nathan, what's happening, man? Oh, good there, Ryder. Yeah, it's good, man. So some of the, um, you know, there's a payware version of this trailer. So there's like three iterations of this trailer. There's an older one um, that was on Steam Workshop. It went out for a while. All three of these are the same model. There's the payware one. Um, which honestly, I don't think is that is it's not nearly as great as this. One. This one's really been done really nice because I'll show you a couple of things. Like now, I have the painted sides because I, I purposely did this um, in the paint file. I, I made all of the um, the outside surroundings that that kind of like uh, that darker paint. Um, uh, but you can also get that where the whole thing's chromed, and then it does two axle split or it does a triple axle, and then it also has like the the um, around the outsides is chrome too around the wheels um, which is not on the other one it has pre-done lights it doesn't have any kind of light nodes on it unfortunately that's what you get with the payware one's a bunch of light pack stuff uh, but this one it has got this shine on the trailer that is like unbelievable so it's like a, a like a legit shiny trailer that's been wrapped that has a, a legit gloss reflection to it which is really 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 nice it makes this truck and trailer look really together because the other ones are like really faded and this paint seemed like really stretched and um, it's it, this is a really really nice version of it, so it's really good and it's free. So you know, there you go. What's up, Nick? Good to see, you, man. Brady Hughes, what's up? Name of the stream again? Uh, FTR Motorsports Car Hauler Release something something something. So I think uh, here are Brian. They're forty inch triples. Um, it's what I have. Uh, we still only do people like ATS on one rather than the triples. Um, so I still run them on the singles because that's what people like on the stream side. <laughs> Excuse me. Timbo, what's up? How do you get a long chassis, Jason? The only way to get a long chassis is if the truck itself has the long chassis. Or unless you're driving default trucks and somebody's done a chassis mod for it. Typically with your other trucks, man, they're already done. Typically. AMG Knight, what's up, man? Coop? I have no idea. I would so here's here's my uh, here's my here's my thing to tell you guys. My guess is typically on um, it's typically on this stuff. Don't think that updates are going to come before 139. Uh, I can go ahead and tell you. Uh, most of that stuff is not going to happen until we get into 139, and then after that, because a lot of the sounds broke. So your thing is 389, um, really any of these, man. His 900, um, gosh, uh, any of the paywares that you've seen on my channel, I guarantee you won't see them until after 139 comes out. And 139, we were talking about uh, Texas uh, Chrome Shop, these past ones we did. They went ahead and decided, since they had so many engine mods, 
and so many of those types of sounds and stuff that needed updating inside of those packs that they were going to go ahead and start updating for 139 and go ahead and start preparing for that. Um, since probably most of what 139 already had, they're pretty much you know sticking with. Um, so I would imagine 139 is going to go um, you know here pretty soon. It's going to go live. Um, I would assume it's going to pretty soon. So we'll uh, probably be looking at in the next week or two. Um, and then they'll be updating their, their vehicle as well. So well, I told you what my monitors are. Uh, my wheel is Fanatec. It's a Fanatec base, Fanatec pedal shifter. I'm a full Fanatec fanboy now. But it's the NASCAR wheel is the one I've got on here. I just don't have the center hub on it. Oh, wait a minute, wheel and tire. You said what wheel and tire mod? This one, Alcoa 2.0s. Uh, these are from Jess Mods. They're free, but they're the Alcoa 2.0 uh, Chrome. And they're on all the ATS sites. I think the last the last version was like 1.32, I think. Same thing, they or not so, or uh, 1.36. And they still work. So they're good. <laughs> yeah, Coop. Ask uh, so Jake. Uh, Cecil, well, we're on Great American. Uh, Great American map, so... We're in Nebraska right now. They say it looks uh, somewhat similar to this, so. There you go, there's you. Island Crawler, what's up, man? <laughs> Yeah, I know, man. It's gonna be kind of, it's gonna be kind of rough, man. I, I'm, I'm kind of, I'm kind of dreading it, man. What's up, Hunter? How are you, man? <laughs> oh, like a, like a week ago. Yeah, it came in like last Thursday, so I'm still trying to get set up. I've got another game I wanna, I wanna roll out. Um, I'm still, I'm still trying to mess with it, trying to get it dialed in to where it, I can actually play it. <laughs> All right, winner, have a good man. Thank you. There's CF Gaben, CFG, FTG. Jay, we're using the N14, buddy. Drewski, we're glad you can catch it, man. Ah, the angrier one. There's a name we hadn't seen in a while. What's up, buddy? And maybe you've been here, I've just maybe missed it. How are you, man? Hope you're doing well. So we'll let you see a, a little spin around this uh, trailer. If you don't know what FTR Motorsports are, uh, if you haven't catched my ice, my iRacing streams, um, then uh, I'm hopefully, you know, now that we're kids are getting back in school and get some more track time during the mornings, that's my hope. Um, and then that way I can do a little bit more racing here and there. Um, so we should be able to kind of fill some more content up with trucks, building drives, with hopefully some new stuff coming out for 139, some new updates to trucks, which should kind of give us a little bit more content, obviously. Fill it in with some iRacing. I'm always hopeful about it because I really do enjoy it. And I think a lot of the guys that show in watch it. But that is my car, uh, painted by uh, Doyle Lawrence uh, on um, on iRacing. He does a lot of really killer paint jobs. So he painted that one up for me. Uh, so that's my scheme on that. And I did uh, all the design on the trailer and did the skins on that. Plus we, uh, we fitted the truck up as well, so the truck matches, uh, you know, identical. So I've got two trucks tonight. You guys are going to get to see this one, uh, and then we'll either spot out halfway, or uh, it depends on how long we start knocking these miles down. Uh, and then after that, we'll roll into the Freightliner Cascadia, which is a custom private edit for me, but you guys will still be able to use uh, the uh, Fre Freightliner Cascadia off the Steam Workshop. So that's what we've been doing today. And then here towards middle end of the stream or whatnot, I'll release the skin pack. You guys can go throw it on your trucks. Y'all can drive it around yourself. Um, I'd love to see some of y'all's picks, man. So send me some DMs to Facebook groups or posts that you guys are throwing in. I'll, uh, if, I'm, if I'm in those groups, I'll swing by and comment. They're all like on them. Deuce, what's up? Sinister, what's up? Super Sleepers, I uh, got a few. Yeah, I got a few. I've got a Legacy Sleeper from Pinga. Uh, Texas Chrome Shop's got one. Um, I think really that's about. I've got a I've got a Peterbilt 579 Super Sleeper 120. It's kind of nice. So, Jay Booger, what's up? Deshaun, what's up? <laughs> you usually lurk. No problems. We we enjoy and and uh, we we take the lurkers around here too, man. <laughs> 
It's all good. How much does ATS it, it changes, gamer? Um, uh, typically, it's around fifteen to twenty. Um, but if you're if you wait, uh, especially when DLCs come out, which we're about to get rid, uh, they're about to release Colorado. Um, if you buy it when Colorado comes out, typically they'll lower ATS to about. Gosh, usually, man, they'll lower them down to about sometimes six, seven bucks for the game. Uh, then DLCs will be uh, off as well, and then all you have is just the one uh, DLC that's full price, whatever the newest one is. So, thanks, Rich. Appreciate it, man. What's up there, KB? <laughs> you WD forty X fifty. I know. I, I thought about that, man. I, I it was the WD forty. I, I, I would have liked to have uh, gotten this guy to do the same. Hey, thank you there. Uh, Captain Cal say, watching four grandkids, they'll keep them busy, love them all, not as much time for trucking, but hammer down soon enough. Well, no worries, man. Spend time with the kids, man. They won't be that age forever. You know, you know, I know you know. It happens quick, man. What's up, dirt bike counter, buddy? Does somebody here speak Spanish? <laughs> Un poquito, Alejandro. Un poquito. Uh, Richress, uh, Root is 389. Ah, it's on sale right now. Look at there, man. Uh, Coast Coast Mod. No, it's free, Braxton. Five dollars for the game right now, dude. Gamer, go and get it, man. Thank you. There is that Devin, Devin T or Devon. Thank you, man. Appreciate it. Fucking well, need a stronger engine. What are you about to do racing? What are you about to go do racing? No, I'm not going about, I'm not about to do that right now. Uh, we're just pulling the car. Um, yeah, so I do that typically, we used to do that on Sundays, although I'm not sure what they'll do once, uh, once the season is over. Zola Shadow, how are you, man? Go on, Stas. I feel like the truck's a little quiet back here, ain't it? Thank you there, Brody. Appreciate it, man. Yeah, John Rudis, uh, Peterbilt 389. So it's got a bunch of different... He's got a flat top version now. This one does only for the high roof version. So it does not work on the flat, rock, flat roof. Anybody else, you know, if you guys get to wondering about that. Sorry there, Supreme Gamers. I'll need to go check off Off-Road Outlaws. I need to check it out. I don't know if I've seen that one. <laughs> uh, I'm not in Georgia, uh, Harsh. I'm in North Carolina. And I'm always surprised where I don't tell people too much like where I'm where I'm at now because too many people are like I actually know where it is. <laughs> Like, oh yeah, man, I just live right up the road, man. Fancy meeting you here in the supermarket. <laughs> but like, uh, I, am, I am thankful nobody has stopped me yet and saying, hey, are you FTG? No. <laughs> You're like, what do you mean? Uh, you know, I'm not, I'm sorry. Oh, great America, Nebraska. <laughs> oh bad, man. Benjamin Welsh, thanks there for the sub, man. Appreciate it. <laughs> By the way, I had to let you guys know, um, tomorrow, do not forget tomorrow, we are going to be giving away one of Bart's trailers. Um, uh, that was courtesy of a giveaway. I'm still waiting on the Texas Chrome uh, shop uh, to redo, so we, we've got a giveaway for that one. Um, that was courtesy of, uh, one, of our, one of our guys came in Friday, donated for that one. Um, so you guys get a free copy for that, which is awesome. It's sponsored by one of our members. But we are, uh, we're we're waiting on there to update to 139. So I'll do that giveaway because I know some people have been asking, hey, when's that going to roll through? Um, and then we'll give away a Bart's trailer tomorrow night. Uh, we've got a copy of that to give away. So make sure that you're here tomorrow night. Uh, I'll have, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll find a cool truck or something to pull it with. Um, and then we can, we can go from there tomorrow night and we'll give away, we'll give away one of those tomorrow. Thank you there. Thank you, like Skin. Thank you. You are welcome there, Brian King. I'll have this in the, in the Discord after, but you guys will get a link here in uh, in chat uh, here soon enough. So if you've got 
uh, some of this stuff, then y'all will be able to get early, get riding. Throw the hammer down here. I didn't realize we were going so slow. Y'all could have said something. How old are you, Supreme Gamers? An, uh, an uh, episode of Matchmaker. Uh, if you want a button box like me, ASP Advanced Simulation Products. Uh, that's where you can find a box like mine. It should be in the description. If it's not, I need to put it back in there. It should be. <laughs> you will bump through this minute. Probably not their love muscle. Probably not. <laughs> uh, he's strictly payware there, horse. Yeah, this is his payware. This is payware 389. Elder Joseph, what's up, man? Good to see you new guys. Thank y'all for uh, stopping in, man. Welcome all of our new guys here to live stream. Feel free to ask questions if you guys want to know a little bit more about the mods today. Um, I don't mind asking them as long as they're um, halfway thawed out and, you know, not... Is it any good? I usually don't uh, I usually don't drive anything that's trash. I'll put, it, I'll put it to you like that. Amar, what's up? I'll see you up there, man. Uh, 138 car hauler. Yeah, Grizzly, the link for the call hauler is different than any probably most people are normally used to, so this skin will only work on the one that I've provided the link for. Uh, and that featherlight is in the description. From a guy on Facebook, um, uploaded it there and had put some of his stuff in there. It's really, really, really good. This is the hot rod ones. This one has got the Barrett and the Mecham, uh, you know, count the, what the car auction stuff on it, Discovery Channel. It's got its nice trailers on it. More of a show car trailer, so the loads on them are not NASCAR, but the trailer was too good not to skin it, man. It looks really, really, really snazzy, man. They did a really good job. Really good job. One of the best ones I've seen. And there's like three or four of these trailers, and he definitely did a jam-up job with it. There's a couple other reiterations, and they're kind of... They're kind of meh. I'm not a big fan of them, but... Uh, Jalen, I haven't done as much because people didn't watch it. To give you uh, to give you an idea, uh, what twelve thousand people watched me click chicken lights on a Kenworth, but only eight hundred people watched me actually do a produced recreation of a pilot's vlog that I had to edit and spend hours doing. Uh, so um, I can't make it worth my while if people don't come watch them, man. It's the unfortunate part. Like I'm big enough now to where um, I have to do stuff that people watch. And if nobody watches me fly, then I can't I can't justify the amount of time it took to build all of that stuff. You know what I'm saying? Uh, there is loads on the freight market rider, not on um, not on the cargo market side. So this is an ownable. So if you want to own this trailer, uh, you don't have any NASCAR loads for the ownable part. But the freight market, yes, you're correct. It does have NASCAR loads, but no skins for them. It's weird. I don't know why. Unless, unless they do it like that, so. Uh, he wrote Track IR Pro for the in car, and outside of that, it's just the mouse pro. What's up, Flyboy? How are you, man? 1099, hello. Lorraine Bearden, what's up? Zach Attack, hello. Uh, how to get white lettering? That is a tire pack. I actually have uh, yellow. I have the uh, the Goodyear Eagle NASCAR low profile rims on this bad boy. <laughs> this is a tire pack I picked up off Facebook. Somebody uh, somebody sent this to me that had been updated. Um, I'll see if there's a problem. If not, I might I might put a few of my go tos. Like maybe give you like four or five of the most sought after uh, mods that people ask me for, and this would be one of them. <laughs> uh, maybe captain uh, you know eventually when I have more I think when I have more space uh, I, I'm going to I'm going to start building a flight set because um, I plan on keeping this computer and either making a streaming PC and also another gaming PC um, so uh, I, I may be able to do flight sim a little bit later on it's just hard right now because I have to take all of this stuff off and then put on new stuff and 
So if I can find a way to do that a little bit better, I think would make make a little more sense. So, yeah, what are we, what are we doing here? We're we're doing uh, we're doing six we're doing sixty five. It's actually it's not really geared for 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 high high speed. Okay, Michael. Yeah. So look up advanced simulation products or heavy hauler box AT, uh, uh, ATS. Look up a heavy hauler box. That'll that'll get you same where, same place. Or evolve PC gaming. That's another one that that same same guys. But just Google advanced simulation products and that should fix you up. All right. So we just went through North Plains. Um, so we're on the 80. So we've. Uh, I think with this one's got us going to Moab. We got a little bit. We got a little bit. A little bit of time here, but honestly, it's been going pretty quick. I figured I'd go the first 40, 45, and then we'll switch trucks. If we have to cancel the loadout, it's fine. Hey, Grizzly, I, I know, man. I know, bro. I'm with you, man. I say that on a regular basis. <laughs> All right, here you go, Jake. Let's see if the tunnel works. When is the roll down? Jake break engage. <laughs> there you go. Pretty good there, not too bad. No place, what's up, man? <laughs> I like the I like the icon. You got the meme cat. I like it, man. Alita Tesoro, what's up? Hey, hey, gotta go. I think you mean FTG, but I'll say hey. What's up? Also to Nathan. Lacey Marie, thank you there. Appreciate the sub. My favorite race car driver, it was Dale Jr. Uh, I liked Dale Jr. I liked him because of his personality and his his uh, off camera demeanor. Uh, Sneeder, what's up, buddy? <laughs> How are you, man? Uh, but yeah, since he's retired, man, I, I don't really have one. I mean, I like, I think I like Chase Elliott because I used to be a really big Bill Elliott fan. Um, but, uh, you know, I'm, I'm kind of a little bit indifferent now because I don't really have a, I don't have a home to call, you know, my people. I don't have that. So, it's just kind of depressing. I used to like Bill Elliott, then I moved to Dale Jr. And it took me a little while to like him. And then he left. And I was like, well... <laughs> I'm zero for two, yeah. so I don't I don't like any of the new guns, man. I don't like any of those guys. You know, I liked Kurt Busch a little bit. Hated his brother. Yeah. Anyway, it is what it is. Can we get this wrong, man? Yes. So, uh, at least at least what you're asking for, the trucks Rudas 389. The hauler is in the description. But I am going to release the skin pack here. Uh, I, I don't know. Somewhere in my next drive here on the Freightliner Cascade. I just want to show them off. And then we will release the link here. You guys will get it first. And then tonight I'll go on over, add some screenshots, and I'll put it inside of the FTG paint job uh, area. So it'll be one pack. We'll have both truck skins as well as, uh, as, well as the trailer skin. So at least you guys will get to see some lights here. Actually looks pretty legit here because... Uh, the 389's got some nice lights on it too, so. Hey, what's up, Shelton? I hate this little section. Like, how are these cars driving this fast on this road? <laughs> do it for Dale, Kate, do it for Dale. Yeah, I know it is LHB. I know, man. 
I mean, it just kind of goes with the territory, you know. I don't, I don't think you can be an NASCAR fan without doing those two things first. No, Nathan, they're they're already they're already on there, man. So like, you don't have to do anything. Like, you just choose. Oh crap! Whoa! So you just choose one or the other. You like the light light ones, or they they come already pre done in like their little accessory for the truck. So you can choose the 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 uh what 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 am i trying to say here fellas i don't even know what i'm trying to say here you can choose like the lights where they're sp sporadic and then you've got another selection that gives you them all so you don't have to place them all thank goodness so <laughs> hey uh, jeff gordon i liked him in his, his later days i didn't like him in his early days but i appreciated his uh his skill man as he got older good logging roads mm, not really larry um, the only so the only place the if you want to log and roads, bro, you need to go to Viva Mexico. Um, I've done tons of videos on Viva Mexico, but that's where you need to go if you want some legit log and roads. I mean, it's basically Belling. Some of those roads are like Bellingham for like hours. But go look up Viva Mexico uh, and grab it ASAP right now. That's gonna be that's gonna be your jam, man. Yeah, yeah, there you go. Level one and two. There you go. Thank you there, Alan Crawler. I couldn't come up with it, man. <laughs> it's like, good lord, man. It's going to be a long night. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you there, Jalen. Appreciate it. Don't like football? Yeah. Bunch of guys in tights running around, smacking each other on the rim after a first down, catching a ball. Not really. I don't like watching. It's too slow, man. It's like watching baseball. It's got to be the big games, man. I, I, I can't stand watching just Sunday afternoon football. I feel like I got too many other things I want to be doing rather than that. Look at this, man. Look at this sunset. That's what I'm talking about right there. Thank you there, Double Ds. Appreciate it, man. Canadians showing some love tonight, man. Appreciate it. Yeah, they do like to go. <laughs> go, yeah, that's where I was going with that. I was going to keep it in the, uh, yeah, I was going to keep it in the G-rated there. Thank you there, man, for the super chat there, double. Appreciate it as always, man. Freightliner Peterbilt fan. I don't know. Is that possible? Can you be a Freightliner and a Peterbilt fan? I don't think you can. I know nobody in my chat is. You're either, either or. Wyoming. There we is. Hey, thank you there, Miguel. Yes, sir. So you guys can go ahead. Don't, don't I'm just keep reminding you, just so you don't forget. But you can, guys. You can go ahead. If you got 389, the skin's coming. Uh, YouTube stepper money. Thank you there, man. Appreciate it. Uh, you've got. Uh, I'll be giving you the skin. It'll be the combo pack. 389 on the Ruta. The car hauler is already in the description, so you guys can go ahead and pre-download that. Uh, and then the other one, uh, depending on see how much longer we got. We're actually doing really good, man. Six uh, we're something through Cheyenne. All right, so we got to go to Moab. You guys want to see me finish the trip, or you want to see me uh, hop into the next truck? I do either or. I don't care. Oh, thanks, King. Love you too, brother. I would have never guessed that, Timothy. I would have never guessed it, buddy. Yeah, no truck shaming. No, no, no truck shaming in the stream tonight, guys. Just kidding. That's a pretty. That's a pretty bad looking. Uh, it's. Uh, I don't. It's probably some of my best work. Like, I, I don't. I don't normally like to do abstract stuff. It still feels like to me it's got to be symmetrical, and that was about as symmetrical as I can be. Just felt like sometimes, but that's the cool thing about NASCAR because there's like logos everywhere. <laughs> just throw a logo on it. Hey, I don't know what to do with my guy. Just throw a logo on it. It's fine. It's cool. <laughs> that's the first time anybody will tell me a new truck there, Michael. Hey, I'd rather see the stock Freightliner Cascadia pull it rather than the custom 3D9. I'm kind of a Freightliner guy. <laughs> yeah, it might be two years before y'all see SES release their Cascadia, so. <sighs> Yeah, it's not a Volvo. It's Freightliner Cascadia. It's a good one, though. It's the, it's the good one. 
Nope, Power Drive. It is uh, a custom of a very special friend here uh, in my Discord. So this was uh, this is a lot nicer quality than what uh, SCG is doing, mainly because there's no way he could do it and make money from it. Um, but this is a legit uh, billet uh, shifter from uh, from Truck Shifters, um, and this one's come from Rainey's. So it's the actual mechanic Eaton Fuller 18 speed, but it's got the white glitter Ken Kenworth knob on it. And it's on a 10 inch uh, carbon fiber, carbon fiber, oh my gosh, carbon fiber extension. So it's all made in one piece, the electronics housing there, dude, it's so legit, man. I'm so, I'm so stoked with it. One of these days I'll eventually do a, uh, do a video on it eventually. I figure we'll see a little bit of uh, dark depending on how long we got here. It's fine. We we might just stop at our next uh, our night our next city and pick up. That's a good looking truck, ain't it? See, look at all those lights, man. It's legit, man. I like it, man. Oh, thank you there, man. Appreciate it, dude. Well, that says a lot, man. Thank you there. Appreciate that, Cathedra, Mr. Jeremy. Every now and again, I have like a really good idea that actually, you know. You know, he, he's, he's a pretty good art guy, too, so that's a big compliment coming from him. Sometimes, man, you, you get in those, uh, you, you get in those, those realms, man, and it's just like things start clicking. <laughs> uh, son, we are, we are rolling, man. 1,700 RPMs. You guys, I not be complaining about this one. What would a Freightliner be? I, I don't know. I don't know. People say Freight Shaker, but I don't know. Some of my Freightliners, they actually really sound really good. What would be the next one? Uh, it's the Freightliner Cascadia off of Steam Workshop. But mine's private. I will tell and tell you that. Y'all aren't going to like it, but I'm sorry. Um, I just don't have permission yet to, uh, to throw out the one that I have. It's a, uh, uh, I guess it. It'd be an edit of uh, Cascadia, but it's lowered and it's stretched. Of course, probably the two things that I like the most on these trucks is, can we lower it? Can it be stretched a little bit? Well, of course it can. Can we put some big wheels on it, some rubber bands for tires? Of course we can. All right, let's drive that tonight. That'll be wonderful. <laughs> That'll be wonderful. No, it's not. It's not be nice. It depends. Some of them are okay. Uh, some of the trucks are actually, they put some, some legitimate thought about it before... Uh, you know, they, they went out and rocked at it, you know, uh, when they unwrapped it. Some trucks, not so much thought was given. And, you know, sometimes that, that becomes very evident. Lord, that's loud. So loud, man. What's up, Emmett? Good to see you, man. Games with Mari, what's up? Hello, you're new? Well, hello, I would say I'm old, but I'm not. I'm relevant. How are you? And super singles. <laughs> no super singles, we at least got two tires. We at least got them, man. I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I wouldn't short y'all on the stream that bad. <laughs> Uh, he doesn't sell them. Yeah, if you're going to do one, he's your only bet. Now, I will say this. I believe ASP, the guys that do the button haul, the button hauler box, they are working on one. So um, I would imagine it's going to be like the standard Eaton Fuller shifters. But um, I'm sure they will at some point have, you know, you'll probably be able to customize it, put lights on it, do color switches and stuff. But I'm pretty sure that those guys are working on one. So... There may not be, uh, there may not be, uh, you know, your shifter woes may not be too much longer. So, Put those yellow tires over there light up. All right, let's see if we can. Let's see if we can. Let's go ahead. Let's just do this. Let's go ahead. Yeah, there we go. Hey Zeus, what's up? Hit the Jakes, oh there you go. <laughs> Perfect timing. Thank you there, Rich. Appreciate the sub, man. Rich Thompson. 
Richmond Thompson. Sorry about that. World Truckers, Truckers MP. All right. So, for anybody that's curious, um, so here's the deal. Oh, there it is. Thank you there. Jesus first and then Richmond. Thank you, the guys. All right. So, if you guys are looking for wor World of Trucker, the Truckers MP is the online client for um, everything that we do. Convoys, ETS, ATS, whatever. Uh, that's the online client to be able to join in and be able to drive on your profile modless, without mods, and see other people online. Tru uh, World of Trucks is basically an online social media house for some of those things to exist in. It's also what they read, like your DLCs that you buy off Steam. It'll sync all of those things up with World of Trucks. So you actually have an online World of Trucks profile. You can set up like your own custom license plates. So if you have trucks on Truckers MP, if you have trucks inside of the game, once you sync your account up to World of Trucks, uh, that license plate will show up on all of your own trucks. Now, not all of them have this capability, but most of all the default ones do, and most of the modded trucks do give you that ability to um, to be able to sync those up. But it keeps tracks of all of your World of Contract jobs, and it also allows you to join into the events that they have. Every now and again, Truckers MP, World of Trucks, um, will give you events that you can participate in and get special stuff, special swag, special skins, and it might be deliver 15 jobs XYZ to here ABC. And once you do all these things, you get something to hang from your mirrors. You get something to you know put in your truck, some kind of a plush toy, some kind of a bag, whatever. It doesn't really matter. You get something for it. Um, and they don't run them that often, but when they do, they're pretty cool. Um, so what that allows you to do is be able to log into those, be it tracks all those jobs, and then you get credit for that. So World of Trucks is totally free, but it's basically just kind of like an online house for all of your social kind of half social media stuff for truckers mp you can upload screenshots there you can share screenshots um you know it's not really an interactive social media thing although it i guess it can be it, it i haven't touched mine in like ages basically decided what i wanted my license plates to say and then after that i really never touched it again so but you can upload your, um, you know, like social media profile pictures. And then once you sync all of that up to your account here on, uh, once you edit your accounts on um, your edit profile here with ATS, then it'll showcase those icons as your, instead of the goofy faces that they give you for, you know, for American Truck Sim, it'll show your, your, uh, your World of Trucks profile stuff, pictures and stuff. So yeah, anyway, hope that somewhat cleared it up it's free go do it go sign up for it um and then truckers mp go download that discord there's tons of stuff to help you out also google man just type in installing truckers mp um getting online with ats you know any of that kind of stuff there are tons of videos out there um for any of the online stuff so i am not a real uh, trucker there apex i'm just a wannabe man yeah show the outside no problem so there's our uh, 3d9 there so car haulers in the description you guys can go ahead and pre-download that uh, I will be giving away the skin here. It's gonna be a, a free giveaway. Uh, you know, sometime probably when we change over trucks, I'll go ahead and let you guys download that. Y'all be the first ones. So I'd love to see some of the builds you guys come up with. Um, and uh, and if you if you do post these to some links for groups and Facebook and whatnot, if I'm a member, I'm actually a member of a lot of groups. I just don't post in them because I don't deal too much in the Facebook stuff. But if you do post these in some of the groups and stuff, send me a link on DMs here on uh, Discord. Uh, I'll be more than happy to click on them. Go, go uh, if I can. If I'm actually a member of those, I'll go ahead and I'll uh, I'll leave the login to them and I'll like them, or I'll uh, go comment, throw a like on them for you, and let you know I appreciate you. You know, rocking the skins out and stuff. So, just send me a link to your post with the sc uh, screenshots if you throw them up in, in Facebook posts. It's cool. All right, there, love muscle. Yeah, no problem, man. Uh, hold up a sec. I uh, had yet to see any contracts. Yes, uh, up on the World of Trucks, and and now I'm on. So you'll need to you'll need to do the external contracts through with your World of Trucks. Has to be, it has to be synced up to your account. So make sure you do that under Edit Profile, Emmett. Uh, once you edit profile on ATS and then sync those two together, you'll basically sign into World Trucks. It will take, it'll keep track of all of your world uh, external contracts and external co uh, cargo. That's what it keeps track of. So, all 
Well, the CB doesn't do any good because I don't have anybody to talk to in single player. Oh my goodness! Stomping on it, stomping on it. Ah. <sighs> yeah, John, it kind of sucks. I'm not gonna lie, man. The, the, we have a lot of guys, I, so I would say the thing with Truckers MP, it sucks to do it by yourself. You gotta drive with people. If you don't like the mod things, you gotta drive with people, man. Um, we've got a, we got, a, we've probably got about ten or fifteen guys that pretty much every night are convoying or trucking. Um, we've got guys that play flight sim. We've got guys that are playing DZ right now. Um, we really have got a good mixture on the community, which is what I always wanted. Um, you know, I always wanted to be able to play a game here and then be able to play something else and it not be like, well, I got to leave the Discord and go play something else. I just found that was stupid. So it makes it more of a community effort um, to just enjoy gaming itself in a good, you know, in a good spot with good people that hopefully you like. Um, so we work hard at that. So, you know, if, if you guys are looking for a, a quote unquote place to, to call a home, but you haven't really found anywhere that fits, you know, try us out. Come in and say hey to the guys. Uh, they're all really super nice, and um, so we we try to we try to we, we we do play some different stuff. You'll find guys playing, you know, the World of Warships. You'll find guys playing Farm Sim every now and again. Like it's just kind of like collective. Everybody plays everything, you know. Robert, this is John Roos 3D9, and I do have a link to his Facebook page. Just send him a link. I mean, send him a uh, message and let him know that you'd like to maybe pick up the uh, the 389. He'll send you all the details on it. And it's just a just a PayPal goods and services transaction. It's pretty simple, man. And he's good for it. Um, it's uh, I've got all my stuff through him. I got all three of his trucks. I have got ample videos on them. So if you want to check any of the videos out and see what all you can do with them, um, he did a nice update to this one not too long ago. And then uh, and then heck, you'll I've got two skins on this one. I've got the the custom skin for this and then I've also got this one right here that you uh, that you see now so so the button box does everything inside the game so I can do you know turn the engine brakes on I cut the high beams off you know I can roll beacons if I have drop axle I've got cruise lights keys ignition horn um, and then I've also got a CB but the CB works in uh, in truckers MP so I can talk to everyone else through the CB mic. So, yeah, we're out. We're all, we're on Windows PC. Yep. See how much longer we got here. I, I, we got to be getting close. All right. I'll tell you what, we're gonna go ahead after this one. Let's go ahead. I'm gonna switch trucks when we get to the next city. We'll just uh, we'll just go ahead and forfeit this job over, and we'll pick something else up with a new truck. Um. Oh, yeah, John. Yeah, sorry. I think, yeah, we got that. Eh, I agree with you there, Connor. I agree. And, and honestly, man, I, I mean, I've got a job. Uh, I've got a side job. i got a side job. I've got two side jobs, plus, you know, something that provides income, you know, outside of that uh, on a more regular basis. But it does offer free me up some time. And this is just because I enjoy doing this stuff. I mean, I enjoy playing games. I enjoy the streaming aspect of it. So... You know, people always tell me, you know, you can make more money being a truck driver. And I'm like, yeah, but I'm home I'm pretending to do it. That's got to account for something, right? <laughs> All right, original. Have a good man. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, is yeah, yeah. The friends grab. Oh yeah, yeah. And that, that happens all the time. Thank you there for that four ninety nine there, Connor. Appreciate it, man. <laughs> I do like the um, I do like the 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 realism on this trailer. It's got a very nice sway to it. It's not too much, but it's enough to where it, you know. Yeah, it's good, man. I like this trailer. It's really nice. It's really, really nice. Hey, what's up, Dave? <laughs> you gonna light him up, David? <laughs> David's like our—he's like my screenshot guru, man. He's uh, he's all the time posting some good combos of, of the FTG skins in the Facebook group. So, uh, 
I, I like it when Dave gets on the kick, man, because it's like FTG like everywhere. <laughs> David shared six photos on XYZ group, XYZ group, XYZ group. <laughs> hey, there's the coppers. I actually had the lights on that one. I don't really know anything about the new Logitech wheel. Yeah, I know it's not. Yeah, I know. I know. I know they're. I know B9. I guess if you're doing regional, which I don't. I don't know, man. Regional just, just making all that having to drive in all them parking lots and deal with all the people and not just being able to interstate driving. Like, yeah. <laughs> I know a place have a good man. Thank y'all guys for uh, dropping in tonight. Appreciate it. <laughs> yeah they do that's right man. we just keep it the fuel fresh man keep it the fuel fresh and that fuel cell we're just just sloshing it around there just just keeping things uh keeping things on the up and up man don't want anything to go stale in there on the ride over <laughs> i tell you what man this, this truck is quiet man when the windows are rolled down i mean rolled up i mean it don't sound bad but boy it does get quiet See, this kind of stuff right here, man, it's a great America map. Once you get out here and get rolling on this 80, man, phew, you feel like you're on it forever. And then it's just like, you're looking at the clock, it's 11.30, and you're like, oh my God, why am I so sleepy? <laughs> All you can hear is the rumble of that N14. <laughs> and somehow put a 389 wheel on it and pedals too. I don't know about the pedals. The pedals you're going to have to pay money for. Uh, but putting a wheel on it is not hard. You just have to have an adapter, unless you have a Fanatec. Fanatec wheel hubs already have the 70 millimeter boat wheel, so you can already do that. But typically for any kind of wheel that's a, a real life one, you're going to have to have a really strong base uh, to be able to push around a truck wheel. If not, you'll burn it up. Um, but you'll have to have a heavy motor for that. But they do sell some like wood grains that are 14 inch, 15 inch wheels that are pretty light that you could run on a regular base they probably wouldn't give you any kind of problems all right salt lake city we're coming in too well we're getting close to anyway salt lake county so i think we're still in great america but we'll be let's see oh yeah so we are now we're we're in the dlc area now so now we're back in the ses map now so Right, Apex. That sounds good there, Robert. Yeah, let him know you saw it at the FTG. Let him I always like for those guys to know where they saw where people sell trucks from. You know what I mean? I mean, I, I don't get anything for his trucks. You know, like I don't. He doesn't cut me off a buck for them. Um, you know, I just drive these trucks because they're good. So I like for them to know every now and again where their trucks came from. You know what I'm saying? You know, rather than some other, you know, jack leg streamer out there wrecking them, running them off the side of a mountain. You know, I like for them to know they saw it off of FTG stream. <laughs> you know. <laughs> Thanks there, Josh Graves. Appreciate the sub, man. Aaron, I am good, man. Hope you're doing well. Let me, uh, I was trying to was trying to debate here. So we only got 236 miles. Uh, 236 miles. I kind of hate to... Let's just finish it out, man. We'll do a short trip in the Freightliner. You guys won't care as much about that one. Although, it's a pretty bad truck. I'm not going to lie. I'll go ahead and throw you guys a skin. That way, y'all can go ahead and start getting down. You know. Brooks. Thank you there. BRX. Appreciate it, man. Tyler, what's up? Oh, good. Thank you there, Robert. Appreciate it, bud. Arnold, it's going good. Uh, do I have a recommendation for a wheel that could run a P-Wheel on it or run an Xbox? Uh, you wanted it to run on Xbox, and it's not that big of a deal. Um, hmm. So, uh, if you're going to run Xbox, PS4, uh, your Logitechs will do it. Your Thrustmasters will also do that, and your Fanatex will do that. Although, if you wanted to run up into the higher ends, um, obviously Fanatec has their CSL Elites. 
um, which are about the same price as their Thrustmaster higher ends. Um, does anybody know, Timbo, maybe you were deuced, because I think y'all have had some experience with that, that mid-grade Thrustmaster. I, maybe it's the TMX, maybe? Is that the console version one? I can't remember. Thanks there for the sub there. Uh, so, Edvin, appreciate it, man. And then thank you there, Earth Warrior, appreciate it as well. Yeah, I know, they have pride stills. Yeah. You know, it's like know where they're getting their uh, sales from. Sorry, I just had a little itch there. What's up, James? It's good, man. I like this wheel, it's good. Yeah! Oh, that was on, that was on Twitch. <laughs> it's like, wait a minute, that says follow. That's a Twitch thing. Thank you, buddy. Appreciate it. And thank you there, Cody Thorne, man, coming to First Gear member, man. Thank you, man. It's an awesome way to, uh, awesome way to support the stream, man. Four ninety nine a month's our first gear. Uh, you know, whenever we did uh, upload some, that was you got that stuff a little bit early. But gosh, I, I feel like I haven't uploaded stuff in forever. Um, by the way, uh, while it's on my mind, man, we got a three hundred here watching. Um, by the way, let me go ahead and, and uh, not pick y'all's brains. Let me go ahead and let you know tomorrow. We will be uh, giving away a BART trailer there, courtesy of one of our supporters. Uh, Pete Trucker 51051 came in, I think it was on the convoy, um, and uh, threw up some money there for you guys to be have a chance there for a BART trailer. So we are going to give away a BART trailer tomorrow night. So if you don't have his trailer, uh, come tomorrow night and we will have it uh so we'll be pulling the reefer trailer tomorrow we'll pick some kind of a cool truck to pull it with uh maybe even one of the texas chrome shops we might roll there kenworth again um heck i don't know what we're gonna roll we'll find something good to run uh thank you there daniel craig appreciate it um we'll pick we'll pick something to run it with but we're gonna give that away tomorrow night so don't forget don't forget there was something else too tell you guys there's something else i was gonna tell you what was it because it was good it was good let me read back through the chat mm. i don't remember that i hate when i do that maybe it'll come back to me maybe thank you there blade yama appreciate it man jj what's up man Thank you there, Mystic. Well, you guys are going to get to have this one here ASAP, so y'all just hold tight. I decided I'd go ahead and just run this last load. Uh, we got about 170 miles. Whoops, it'll go pretty quick. If ever get in gear. I thought we drove too much of these, man. I, I need some I need some trucks books miles. Can I get a man? Beast gaming. What's up? Thing of their beast. Truck dog, what's up there? Thank you there, JJ. Thanks there for the five, man. As always. Yeah, yeah. Bar has got a ton of lights. It's got. A, it's good, man. Of course, it's good. Uh, we pretty much haven't rolled anything that's not good. So. Supposed to be adding the Cascadia next lane. That's what. That's what the rumor is. Uh, as far as I know, there's no legal issues. They were at Daimler Chrysler, which I think owns Freightliner and Mercedes. And um, as far as I know, uh, that was the next one. The next ETS truck was the, not the Highway Edition. I can't remember. It's the, uh, someone helped me out. It was the Iveco. Um, not, is it the S-Way? Is that right? Is, is that right? Anyway, it was one of those. It was going to be the new ETS truck. And then ATS was going to receive... Um, was going to receive that with the um, Freightliner Cascadia for the new one. That was supposed to come up like before the Lone Star was released, uh, uh, weirdly enough. Um, but that never that never happened. So we got like two trucks and then it seemed like that one didn't work. So um, anyway, I think the Cascadia is, you know, going to supposedly be sometime the next truck that rolls in. So who knows? Western Star is going to be the next one that gets all of the updates. Um, and it's going to get finished up first, and then um, and then after that, I guess they'll we'll see. So, hey, what's up, Jay? Good man. What's up, Nick? How much uh, is it? The mod ATS. So, Cody, if you just want to download the mods and install them and run them, like that's not a big deal. Uh, modding. 
like actually creating the stuff and getting it in yeah that's pretty tough i don't do it i do skins that's my thing i like it. it's creative uh getting the other crap to work man i pull my hair out sometimes getting the skins to work on this stuff and um and, and figuring out what people have done to the trucks and trailers and stuff to get them to work and then finally you know i'll figure it out and it's a it's a big success you know yes beat you you know run around the fire and beat your chest mean looking it's very mean looking but in a nice way not a nice guy way on the board what's up S way yeah what's up? So, uh, well, so again with Aerodyne, is the Aerodyne not the midroof and the, am I, am I totally, am, am I totally off on that? Like, there's a Kenworth W900, do they not call that the Aerodyne? <sighs> US Dodge was still in there? Yeah, I guess, eh. I know Bill Elliott, man, he rolled, he rolled the Dodge there for a while. He was in the Dodge. Well, it was the number nine. I think it was like the Dodge brand car thing. In case you can't take that over, I believe. All right, nobody, nobody pull out. Okay. Sleeper truck. We got tons of sleepers. The only thing that you you want to figure out is how long you want your sleeper to be. But there there are a few. There is a W900 long, but the Texas Chrome Shop model we did does have a sleeper on it. There's uh there's probably a few more legacy sleepers for Peterbilt's than there are for Kenworth. What's up, Wallbanger Gamer? Hello, hello. I can't remember if Pinga's new model for his W. I need to go back and look. Ping has got a, a new one. If he is, is it's free. He might have the new sleeper on his new Kenworth model. I can't remember. Thank you there, Ken. Is that Niwa? Ken Niwa? Or Niwa? Thank you, man. Appreciate it. Uh, can you use any? Yeah, you can use any 389. The skin will only work with Jake's, though. I mean, with uh, John Roos. I haven't built the skin for the other 389s, even though there's a lot of them. It's a pretty in-depth skin, and honestly, the other ones, I know them, they're exploded. Uh, like, all the parts are in separate pieces, and it would be, it'd be ridiculous trying to skin. Put this skin on that truck. This skin works because the whole side and everything is together, so it can be put together like a painting. <laughs> like a puzzle piece. Uh, the other puzzle pieces are, like, scattered out on the table, it feels like, sometimes. Thank you there, Zed. Mackie Lavulu or Lovelo. Love a lavalo. Mackey. Mackay. Bet it's Mackay. If it is Mackay, let me know. And I get kudos for saying your name right. Alright, 90 miles. We're gonna switch trucks. Keep the same trailer. We'll pull a we'll pull a short load here on the next one. You guys will get y'all sales a free combo skin. Courtesy of moi. I like to do this periodically. If you guys are wanting any of our other United Logistics stuff, like if you guys drive with the the uh, the truck company. Uh, maybe you drive a few uh, miles here and there. I've got merch that supports with the truck company stuff, so we've got our logos on there. Uh, I'm kind of in the process of doing a little bit of rebranding, um, so we will feature some things with either both. Um, so I'll, I'll keep some of my, my, like we'll call it our vintage gear. I'll probably shorten up on some of that, but I'll throw some of the vintage gear like t-shirts and some long sleeve shirts. I'll throw a few of those things together. Um, but then I'll, I'll feature some more merch with like our new channel logos and um, and some stuff like that. We'll, we'll keep some of that. So, Yeah, I don't have it in there yet, David. I'm going to put it in after, but I'm going to give everybody in the stream today, I'm going to give them the in the Discord. Sorry. I'm going to give everybody the skin pack in the Discord first today. That's what I'm going to do. I was going to play a nasty joke on everybody. I was gonna like have a giveaway for the skin paint and tell everyone I was, you know, selling it for fifteen dollars. 
<laughs> and then, but, you know, and of course I wouldn't take any money if anybody was actually going to PayPal me money for the thing. I'd have to give it back to them. But I was going to like be like, yeah, we're giving us, you know, giving this away, fifteen dollar value for free. And then like I would just give everybody the link, be like, I'm just kidding, guys. But then I was like, people would probably leave the stream and get mad because I was actually selling skins. <laughs> And then people be all salty. <laughs> Man, I can't believe after you selling freaking skins, bro. Selling trucks is one thing, but selling skins, that's just going too far. Hey, man, I'm going to go buy Rollins 3D9, man. I feel like spending some money. It's only a hundred bucks. I'm sure the wife won't mind. <laughs> well, we're going to try. What's up, Gear? How are you, buddy? Good to see you, man. <laughs> Whoa. I am having a good night, man. It's always a good night, man, when chat's when chat's rolling, man, and uh we ain't having to deal with any bullcrap, man. It's cool. Alright, well that truck was not getting over. Wow. We get over it all. <sighs> nice. I've to, I to check out now, man. Who is Big G? I'm not Big G. Um, I so. So I, I think it is. If you're a single screen truck driver, um, I think it's awesome. If you set it up right, um, you can, with very small movements, you check your mirrors, you know, you look behind you, whatever, and it's pretty easy. Um, not to mention just being able to look in and around the cab, you know? And so I like it. It works for all the games, racing games, driving games, whatever, it doesn't matter. It works in ETS, and it's automatic. You just install the software, you're done. You're good. Um, it's really good, man. I think you'll. I think you'd like it. It's a worthwhile investment. If you're not planning on doing the triples, um, if you're not planning on doing the triples, then I would say track hours like it's a it's a must. I feel like I got a whisper. I'm like I can't be yelling now. <laughs> I think when I'm inside the truck, I feel like I'm yelling into the mic. Then I get out here and I'm like, all right, guys, well, now that we're back in our, our outside voices, <laughs> I can still whisper to everybody and everybody can still, still hear me. But then it gets a little weird when I start doing that and whispering in the stream. But you know, you're one game. Yeah, so if you're a one screen gamer, man, dude, I, I say, listen, I. There's one thing that's really a part of this setup that's never changed. My shifters have changed, my pedals have changed, my steering wheel has changed, my mouse has changed, my keyboard has changed. My computer actually hasn't changed, fair enough. Uh, the ASP button box, obviously you can't do anything to it, but it's still been an addition too. Um, my stream deck is an addition. Um, the one thing that I have never changed and I've always kept a part of the setup is the track IR. Um, I didn't always, I don't do everything three wide, even if it gives me the ability to do three wide. I still don't necessarily do it just because maybe the game itself is not really optimized for three way game, you know, three monitor level gaming. Most driving games should be. Uh, most racing games, if they're a legit racing game, they do have some support built in for triple monitors, um, but not every game does. So the single monitor, especially if you're a single monitor, I mean, uh, the Track IR Pro with single monitors is really a good, it's a good deal. 
Uh, it really is. Um, because it gives you a little bit of ability to be able to look around and see what's all around you without having to invest in the three wide. Um, and it's really smooth. I mean, I like it. Flying games, driving games, farm sim. Oh, it's dude, it's a lifesaver on farm sim once you set up a custom profile board. Oh, it's ridiculously good. Because you can basically turn your head a little bit and you can look behind you. You know what I mean? Like, that's a lifesaver. <laughs> I didn't even know what I did on Farm Sim before I got Track Hire Pro. I was like, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> oh, look at there. Racetrack must be over here at the food mart. I hate that about ATS. Somebody make a track pack so we can freaking take our cars to the track. What the heck, man? What are we doing here? Now oh, Ernie in the garage is hungry, fellas. We gotta stop in and get him something to eat. Oh yeah, we're gonna drop the. Uh, yeah, we'll call it. We've got a uh, we've got a a signing. Uh, yeah, we're we're gonna do a book signing today. So we're taking the car down for a book signing tour here. There are local. Hmm. I doubt I could get it in there. <laughs> That's what she said. That's what she said. Yeah, Andrew. I'm not a real trucker. I don't know if I, if I look like one. I think it's because I'm trying too hard. I'm just kidding. Man. No, I, I enjoy the game, man. I enjoy it for what it is. I enjoy a lot of things for what they are. I enjoy flight simming a lot more, but people never tell me I look like a pilot. I don't know whether to take that as a cut down or if they, you know. Look at that. Freaking sweet. All right. Show me your rig. No, just kidding. <laughs> uh, it's good to see you, man. All right, well there she is. So I got I got another rig we're going to show you, and then I need to get you guys a link, right? <laughs> oh, dude, I do. I, I would. I would. I would love someone to do like a, but we don't have the map yet, so that's that's like the that's the toughest part, man. All right, so let's do this. Let's grab a link. So, wait a minute, not that one. Sorry. Here we go. Get link. There we go. All right. So this one is going to be for... There it is. So this skin pack that you guys... Or getting right now. There it is. Just put drop the link in there. So that one that you're getting has got the 389 skin in it. It's got the car hauler skin in. It. The car hauler is also in the description. So make sure you have to grab the car hauler. It's not in that mod. And then the other one is going to be this bad boy. Now this one, I'm just going to tell you, uh, this Cascadia is a custom. All right, it's done by one of the guys here in the Discord that does. It's learning a lot. So I'm going to upgrade and just show you this rig. So this is the Freightliner Cascadia off of the Steam Workshop. Um, as you can see, though, it has been edited. It is lowered, and it's also stretched, and it also has its own separate custom uh, air tank reservoir for its air ride and, and its uh, trailer brakes and stuff like that. So uh, this one is a little bit different than the one you'll get off Steam Workshop, but it still works the same. The skin still works on the one that you'll get off Steam Workshop, so there will be no issues there. All right. Ace of Spades, what's up, man? Can't stay. All right, you got early info. Pitch some money. Well, thanks, man. I appreciate that, Ace. Thank you, man. I appreciate that, man. Ace of Spades there, fresh out of uh, basic there, man. So uh, thanks for Ace of Service and all our other service guys out there, man. Appreciate y'all. Uh, we should appreciate y'all more than we uh, than more than we tell you. So uh, thank you, guys. Appreciate for what y'all uh, what y'all continue to do, man. Uh, for me and everybody else in here enjoying a simple live stream. So uh, sometimes you can't enjoy this stuff everywhere around the world. So we're going to take off on the Cascadia. Uh, this is on the Steam Workshop. So you guys can go grab that. Uh, you can grab it on the Steam Workshop. So, Oh, I knew you'd like that, Mike. I did that just for you, Mike. You know how this rolls, babe. <laughs> you know how this rolls. You got to know. All right, so let's go ahead. Let's activate a trailer and let's get somewhere um you guys tell me where um oh speaking of which don't want to show this now yeah look at here i'm gonna here's something for bart's trailer tomorrow night that you guys might get if i can finish it just saying 
Ooh, I've got a logistics skin. <gasps> I've got an FGG skin. <gasps> I've got another FGG skin. <gasps> okay, back to the others. All right, so let's do the hauler three axle. All right, so it's waiting in the Elko, but we'll pick it up wherever. Let's go to where you guys want to drive. We got one more load, man. We won't do a load. Or we won't do a long one. We'll do a we'll do a, a relatively short one. So we're in Reno, uh, here in um, we are in uh, Sierra Nevada. Although we can, you know, basically do any any. You know, we, we we got a lot of cities. First guy, man. First guy. Tell me where on drive. I'll go where you want to go. First guy. All right, Louis. Way to pick a new area. Way to go, Louis. All right, going to Tucson. Thanks, Louie. Let's go to the original map. Come on, Louie. Dad, give it, bro. <laughs> Jeez Louise. <laughs> Whoops, we don't want to go there. We'll go there. <laughs> we got to go to Tucson. I think I know why you want to go to Tucson. Oh, shoot, 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 shoot. Crap, crap, crap. Crap, crap, crap. Okay, that was not that was not planned. Hang on. Are we okay? Okay. Okay. All right. All right. I didn't know that was going to get a little icy there. <clears throat> okay. All right, seven o'clock. Moon is out. We're gonna head on over to the twist and shout. Let's hit our mappage over Tucson. We are <sighs> all right. Uh, okay, let's pick us up. Car. I don't even know if I've even if even going to give me credit. Yeah, okay, it is going to give me credit. Oh, we can take the GT5. Oh, yeah, we can't go there. Boise. Why so far? could take the Duesenberg. Be nice if we had a Vegas one in there, but no. Mm. <laughs> yeah, it does live up to his name. <laughs> oh, that's funny. That's funny. Where are we going? We're going we're gonna keep it we're gonna keep it on the DL and go to the racetrack and uh racetrack. You can let's see what the freight market. I think freight market race cars show up. I think. You got to find the trailer first. And then once you find the trailer, well, it's not going to find it anyway. Yeah. Once you do find the trailer in, um, I guess it shows up in here to be honest with you. I don't freaking have a clue, but I think it shows up in here somewhere. And anyway, when you do, you can get the little icon that you can zip around. Um, let's get back. Shaquille. What's up, man? What's it going to do? Oh, yeah. I just sit here and blanked out what I was going to do. Uh, cargo market. You want me to go to Reno? Was there a Reno one in there? Oh, it's Sierra Vista. What, that one? Fallon? Is that where you want me to go? Starblane, what's up? All right. We're we going to go there. All right. So, Kenny, I uh, should have a link there in the description. If it's not, uh, type in exclamation discord. Exclamation Discord. Like that. I need to get you a list of commands. Thanks there, Dawson. Appreciate it, buddy. All right. It's a little, uh, it's a little different than the 389, but nonetheless, it still looks pretty awesome. Not gonna, not gonna lie, man. I, I like the look of this one. There is a ton of Cascadia's pulling NASCAR haulers now. That's like the most popular truck to pull these with. So that's the only reason that we did this. Uh, so it's got the same feel. It's got all the stuff on it, um, and it's still a pretty good truck, even with, even without the edit. It's still a good truck. So. 
Andrew's like, yeah, I got what I wanted. I'll see y'all chaps later. Peace out. Oh, there is no link to Discord in there? Really? Man. Uh, KP, it's on the Steam Workshop, man. Luis Carlos, what's up, man? I, I think it, I think it looks good. It's a it's a legit uh, engines. I actually added my own engines to this. Y'all y'all be proud of me. Oh, it's just, uh, this truck's such a cruiser too, man. Y'all gonna see in a minute, man. This thing straight up get out of its own way. What's up? Uh, by the way, let's back up a little bit. I feel like we're sitting up in the. There we go. It's like we're like way there. There we go. That's a little better. Now we can see our our jippus a little better. Thank you, there, Jack. Appreciate it, man. Yeah, would you wish a uh, Cascade had this, man? <laughs> so I had a I had a a really good friend of mine um, does a lot of uh, cool machining and stuff. And anyway, he took this on as a project, see if he could do it. He knows a little bit about electronics, and uh, so he custom made that for me. So I'm um, Southern Trucker is about the only guy you can get a a replica one made from if you want to, you know, spend the money on it. Uh, but this is a definitely won't find one quite like this out there. But But it's a uh, it's a real Eaton Fuller mechanical. It's a all billet um, shifter top from Shift Toppers. From like I think Rainy Truck Parts is where I got it from. And uh, so it's it's pretty legit. Oh, love this man. This one right here, this truck right here, will put your butt to sleep. It probably even worse than the other one. Maybe there is Spaniel, maybe Luis. Bienvenidos. Uh, so Logan, you get Tarmax. Oh, we gotta go pick it up, I forgot. So you get Tarmax for anything, man. For watching the stream, you get it for uh, donating, you get it for sponsoring, any kind of super chats, donations, memberships, uh, and then just watching the stream in general, you get it for all that, so. Um, so basically, uh, so no double. I mean, I we, we talked about it quite a bit, and um, and we kind of settled up on a few things, and kind of you know what I initially wanted, and there was really only really one way to do it. So it's even built on a custom carbon fiber extension that uh, attaches sleeves right over my Fanatec shifter. So it's uh, yeah, that's what I mean, man. It's it was it was pretty uh, pretty custom to say the least. You definitely won't get that level of service, you know, on, uh, on, on, uh, you won't definitely get that level of service with SGGs, but he still, you know, he still does them for a reasonable price. You, you, you gotta give him that on that. I mean, he can only do so much for so much money, you know what I'm saying? Oh, thank you there, Ace, man. <laughs> uh, I think it's, I think he's done 22, I think's what he's doing on those. Thank you, man. Appreciate that, dude. That's nice, man. Ace of Spades, man. Coming in clutch. He's like, hey, man, we're back in town. We shot you. All right, let's go pick up a... When is the last time you picked up a, a show car from uh, from the Walmart? Yeah, good luck building it like a real truck. Uh, yeah, that's a... that's a At least on the truck side, I, I just feel like that's a complete waste of money. But that's me. A little bit of damage there. It's okay. Don't worry about that. Thank you there, Ace. Appreciate you, bud. Yeah, man. It's good to see you back around, man. I will say, man, you're a you're a, you're a guy that was missed, man. We always we always hate it when our uh, when our peeps aren't around. <laughs> How you think that boy got him some kind of a job or something? Well, next we'll all be in there admiring his setup. Like, yeah, I just got out of the basic. Freaking bought a freight liner and hooked it all up. It now works with ATS. <laughs> Get tons of pride sniffle out of him. <laughs> well, thanks, Ace. I appreciate it, man. I appreciate it, buddy. Good to have you back around. <laughs> Uh, 
Oh yeah, swimming. I already got a. There we go. I'm about to say I already had one up for this one. Look at that trailer, man. Look at the shine on that bad boy. You can tell it's only out once a weekend. Y'all probably kill you. Y'all probably kill me if y'all know this is an international engine. Did y'all know that? Got an international engine in a Freightliner Cascadia. Let's figure the terrible man. All right, it takes forever to load these cars in. It's the only thing I hate about this. All right, let's rock and roll. <sighs> Look at that. I love it, man. I love it. I don't really get too excited about trailers, but this is one of those I get pretty excited about. Look at that, man. And that's so cool, man. It's like all of my stuff. All of my products and sponsors. And got my own custom car that I never drive on stream. Because, yeah. But I still got one. That's like the old guy that's at the country store talking about this car he's got in the garage that nobody's seen for like 20 years. Because it doesn't run. <laughs> but I still got one. Yeah, you do there. You do there, Jim. You do have one, but it doesn't run. It don't matter. I still got one. Fair enough. So we go ahead and stick our nose out here. We'll get it chopped off. Woo! Okay. Mmm. Love it, man. Love this. I love this truck, man. Love it, love it, love it. That sucker, man. Custom parts on this. Custom stretch. A custom lower. Thank you there to that guy out there that knows who he is. Appreciate you, buddy. I tell you what, though, man. A lot of people that threw this truck some shade, man. This truck is, uh, this truck's going through a, it's going through a process, man. Um, this truck is really, it's, it's been a, it's been a weird life on this truck. It, it was terrible and then it was okay and then it was terrible again and then Glimmin got it and it started getting good. Hey, Ace of Spades, thank you there, buddy. And he's coming through clutch on a membership, man. Thank you there, Ace. Appreciate that. Tillman, what's up, buddy? Good to see you guys. Enter, uh, so this will be under Freightliner Cascadia 2018, known as Steam Workshop, 2018 Cascadia. Thank you there, Ace of Spades, man, for coming to sponsor, man, as always, buddy. Again, I say thanks, man. Good, good, good. Yeah, y'all throw, throw him some love on the Discord, man. We'll have to throw up a little announcement for him. Hope he gets uh, good. One of our, you guys probably hear me always, uh, intro, I always introduce him as Big Dream Triple Deuces. And uh, he had uh, he had some open heart surgery today. He's not he's not even old guy either. Uh, just had some health issues there. So he's so if you guys are praying, guys, uh, lift Big Jim up there. He's in recovery. So he had uh, open heart surgery today. So I'm not sure if it was a triple bypass, but um, yeah, man, it's a little serious serious uh, surgery today. So I'm glad he's uh, out and doing well. So it's good, man. Yeah. Uh, the creator's name, uh, Galimin, G-A-L-I-M-N, Galimin, I think is how you say it. See, that truck looks good, too, hauling that thing. Look at that. Even them skinnies back there, man, they still look good. They still look good, don't they, Mike? Come on, Mike. Hey, Discover with Pangs, man. Thank you, guys, man. Put some new members in the house, man. Thank you, guys. Appreciate it. Yeah, thank you there, Emmett. Yeah. Yep. Uh, he's um, yeah, he's a good member, man. He's uh, he's always been he's been around here for about a year, year plus, man. He's been a uh, really active member here of the community. So I'm glad, glad he told us what was going on just so we knew, you know. 
Um, so we'll have to throw, we'll throw him a little board or something up in the Discord that way he can uh, put some get well uh, get well wishes in there. I'll, I'll put some up on Discord too, so you guys don't just throw them in Discord chat. If not, they'll get lost. He won't be able to read them. No, no super singles, Louie. <laughs> We're just doing, uh, we got doubles, but they're really fat doubles. Really fat doubles. <laughs> Come on, Mike. You know you like them. Come on, Mike. It would even kill you if you know, I have those I have those on the back, too. We're still rubbing bands on the trailer, too. Mike hates it when I roll these tires. He hates it. He's like, man, put a little rubber on it. Like, but she never wanted a lot of rubber. Just... Never mind. I'll keep that way it is. <laughs> We're moving, man. 72. Might lose it right here. About to apex that corner. They do. Um, they do. They've got... Um, I think a lot of those NASCAR guys get deals rolling different trucks, you know. So... Um, and Cascades are popular when the new Mac Anthems are popular. There's still a few old school guys that run the 380s and stuff, but a lot of them don't. They, they a lot of them run these new trucks. The older Cascadias, uh, now those were popular. There was a ton of people who liked uh, who liked those. A ton of drivers used to roll those old Cascadias. Oh, come on, C-Pain. Come on, boys. Come on now. Y'all know how to roll. <laughs> come on now. Man. Man, that engine with the wind and stuff, man, it just sounds good, don't it? So quiet, so far away from the engine. By the way, we throw it up in here again. If you guys did not get it, there you go. So there is the new release. So y'all guys got it now. So that is the NASCAR hauler pack. Oh. So anyway, there's the NASCAR hauler pack for y'all. What's up, Braden? Yeah, he might still run Peterbilt. I don't know, maybe. Maybe he does. They probably have a sponsor deal, to be to be honest with you, man. Hey, what's up there, OGR? How are you, buddy? Oh yeah, they're awesome. Yeah, yeah, you pretty much are there, Dino. You're pretty, pretty late, man. Just as long as your girlfriend's not late, that's all we care about. Hey, <laughs> come on, somebody in chat. Come on, somebody. Come on, somebody. That was good, right? <laughs> that's right. <laughs> oh, yes, sir. Uh, so what directory to so throw it in the uh, so the pack will go into uh, documents American truck simulator and then mods and it should be a mods folder if there's not one in there create one it says mods yeah I know Mike did you go back in the video just to find that out Suleiman Sula thank you there Suleiman appreciate it nope not that one next one All right, you shared this Facebook page. <laughs> and then you want to activate it in your mod manager. So it'll go for that for that hauler, and to make sure you got the Freightliner Cascadia, or if you have Peterbilt John Ruta's uh, 389. Uh, it'll work for all three of those, and the back's good for all three. I do have the information thing 
if for some odd chance that any of this stuff gets updated, uh, I imagine the 139 some of this stuff may get updated, depending on if I have to do anything to these skins. I'm hoping that I don't, but just in case that I do or if I had to add something, I'll have it up in the Discord and I will um, I'll upload it there. So if you guys want to keep up, if you want to download any of the other skins I've got, it's all in the Discord. You can grab it. Um, and then, uh, yeah, go from there. Yeah, I know, I know that's right, Jay. That's where I was going with that, Jay. I didn't know if my if our, if our younger ones would uh, you know, get that. But anybody that's married or has a girlfriend would be like, yeah, I, I know where you're going with that there, Gigi. <laughs> Still a good looking truck, man. Oh, yeah, yeah. It probably is. You honestly don't see a lot of the huge sleepers anymore. Um, a lot of what you see now is these more smaller ones with the sleepers inside built in. You know, some of the newer stuff. Um, yeah, a lot of those, man, they don't. A lot of them don't run those. You used to run the, 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 the Legacy sleepers. Uh, there was some Kid Wars, man. It had some awesome ones. And honestly, the other one that you saw a lot of was like the 680 and the 579. Like the old, like, you know, fleet versions of those trucks. And then they would run sleepers, big sleepers on those trucks. Which honestly does look a little bit funny. I'm not going to lie. It's, it's pretty funny to see some of those. Do we... Tip... <laughs> yeah, it sounds better on the other one, but these 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 trucks really don't have they don't they don't really have uh, they don't really have good Jake brakes on these anyway. They're not meant to. Six guns. This one should be Freightliner Cascadia 2018. So if you put in Cascadia 2018, it should pull it up, or just search Freightliner. I don't know that it's I don't know that it's really going to give you any trucks besides this one and maybe one other one that's on for a Freightliner. I don't want to do an all black one. You can just make that yourself. Do you want one with logos and stuff on it? Because you can create your own black one just by making it black yourself. Uh, we're headed to LA, I believe. Uh, oh no, we're going to Fallon. Sorry. Oh, we won't make that. Oh, we're going up Sierra Nevada. That's why. Hey, Mr. Worldwide. Thank you, man. $25 there for Mr. Worldwide. 007. Thank you, buddy. I haven't made that sound bite yet, so I'm going to sing it to you. <laughs> yeah, lower to the ground. I don't know. I mean, maybe it's pretty low it's pretty low I mean the way it's profiled around everything uh, I mean it probably would look a little different I think the truck being so low to the ground is what throws you off but honestly with with a proper riding truck it actually looks pretty daggum good I don't know that some of those other ones I mean, they gotta have a certain amount of clearance I'll tell you what we'll drive till dark we'll drive through the sunset here and we'll drive till dark we'll call it a night there uh, is that Soham? Uh, so I'm using JBX. It's payware graphics. Uh, really, really, really good. Thank you there, real fan boy. Appreciate the subs, guys. Look at that sunset. Wow. Maybe really, I guess really for a, a fleet truck, it's not a bad Jake, is it? Hear 
them fans singing. What's up, man? Yeah, JBX is good, man. You, I, I, I'll tell you, man, and I know o, OTR knows this too. Um, he gives you all these settings to go in and you add in the Steam, you add these all to your configuration file for ATS. And it really, 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 really does like a jam up job, like helping smooth out ATS when you get it. If, you're, if you like to run a lot of mods. Um, like there's so much stuff in there that helps you load all of this stuff much faster It helps you utilize all of your RAM that you may have you have 16 or 32 gig 64 gig whatever Because um, ATS has got a lot of limits built into it Which is when sometimes a lot of people have crashes and it's not necessarily anything they have or have not done um, but Yeah, JBX pretty much alleviates all of that but you do have to have a system, a pretty decent system to run JBX. And you can't just, you can't have a potato and expect to be able to run this. It's just not going to happen. So JBX, if you go to JBX graphics, put that in Google. It's going to take you to his own forums. I would suggest doing it through the forums. That's where I did it. Um, because uh, you've got a dedicated web space there. He does have a Facebook page, but um, you know, I—I uh, I mean, you know, if I can help it, I mean, I typically just ran all that stuff um, through the forums because that was just easier for me. Um, and I could also keep everything there. I just didn't know if he answered Facebook as much or kept us up to with. But anyway, I figured he would if he didn't have it on there. But anyway, uh, you can use it either or. Um, but just type it in uh, Google. And there's different levels, so I'm running a couple of his accessory mods to go with it. He's got a vegetations mod, he's got other graphics mods that accentuate the game, make it a little bit more saturated, then he's got all the skybox mods. But you can just buy just the skybox, it's like six bucks or eight bucks for that, and I think it goes up to like 18 or 22-ish, if you buy the whole thing. I bought the whole thing, buy the whole thing, it's good. Yeah, but you definitely need a system for it. You can't. You can't be rolling on like a four gig card and expect to get all this performance out of it. It's just not gonna happen. But it really, 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 it, at least in the screenshot game, but honestly, just in the driving around game, like it's really, it's it's really, um, it's really helped to bring ATS uh, to the point of you know, like not necessarily it becomes realistic. But at least that it becomes really, really pretty to look at. And you do get a lot of different scenery. It looks good from in the cab. It looks brighter. It looks like the haze has been cut away. Um, the skyboxes are really good. I don't know why. I mean, I guess I do know why SCS has not really done a lot of work on the skyboxes. It does probably take a lot of running memory, a lot of computer to actually do it. Um, and when people aren't, you know, when they're just not in it, they just don't do it as much. Um, and they, they've got to keep a certain minimum of specs, got to be able to run the game. So, I mean, you know, they, they can only go so far um, and then whatever their minimum specs of the game have to be able to run the game, which is why we don't see a lot of upgrades to the actual base of ATS. And that's why mods do so much to accent it up. The only way that we're ever going to see that kind of stuff happen um, is if we ever get ATS 2 or they decide to revamp ATS uh, and, and and upgrade its base for a new minimum set of run run graphics on it. So you know, that way, basically, uh, all of your minimum graphic settings get upgraded. That's the only way it's ever going to happen. I would imagine we'll probably see a port of ATS into an ATS2 into a new engine. That would be my guess what we'll see, but um, I have no idea. I don't know. How, I don't know how much more they can update this engine. To, to run with new stuff. I have no idea. And thank you there, Alan Crawler. Appreciate it, man. Love the truck and trailer combo. Thank you, man. Appreciate it. You guys enjoy some skins. Uh, like I said, I just threw that one up there uh, as, as well. I can, uh, I'll can i reload it here before we 
get done once we get into total dark. Um, and uh, and you guys can share some of these pics, man. Especially if you're sharing them on Facebook. Send me a link to the post. If I'm in the group, I'll drop by and uh, throw a like on it, comment to it, and uh, and then uh, hopefully um, we can we can maybe use utilize these and uh, use them once we're able to next uh, maybe go to our next race, whenever that's going to be. Lord knows when that's going to be. But anyway, trailer's free. This truck is free. Skins are free. John Rudas is the payware mod for today's stream. But anyway, you got most of you guys probably already have John Rudas 3D9 anyway. So uh, that skin will... The uh, one pack there runs for all three. So Thank you there, Brian. Appreciate it, man. You like that? Yeah, that's my own custom there, Flanning. I've been... I've been been working on getting uh, maneuvering different engines in and out of packs and, and I want to come up with my own like legit FTG engine pack like like FTG's fan favorites what everybody likes and just create an own collection of all of them that'd be awesome so <laughs> yeah the trees are yes the trees are terrible man yeah the trees are terrible yeah <laughs> Some things like you can't you can't replace like that screenshot right there with the clouds in the background just billowing out. Uh, you just some things you just can't you, you can't do. And we're fixing to get in Sierra Nevada right here, so this gets uh, this gets always gets a little crazy. We're right a little we'll ride a little bit here towards the sunset there. What's up there, Kills Fortnite, Dr. Skittles? How are you, man? What would really be a killer SES made ATX, RTX come out? Yeah, well, they're gonna have to do a lot more before they get to RTX. I, <laughs> they're gonna have to really upgrade if they even plan on even sniffing the uh, the fart of a RTX. Yeah. I mean, I think they need to get DX, they need to get the DX up. So we're just now sitting in eleven. They need to they need to get that bad boy upgraded. Whoop, missed that one. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Sierra Nevada is probably the best. Uh, I like it, which we're probably let's see. We're we're probably close into uh, Kingman. So we'll go north of Kingman. Probably I'd say in the next 100, 200 miles it'll start. Whoa, we got dark really quick. Alright, well, pretty much ran that one out. Alright, so I'm right at the two-hour mark, so I'm Alright, so I've got some info for you guys, so don't uh don't go anywhere. Make sure I throw you guys some stuff here. So make sure, if you haven't yet, copy that down. Make sure. Hey, well, there you go, CJ. Perfect time. All right, so right there is the Mega Dot NZ. That is my skin pack for this. Hey, what's going on, Mr. Jansen? Good to see you, man. Uh, so you guys can well, here. Let's go ahead and let me let me can over to the other. There we go. Um, so if you guys want to go and grab that right there, that's the skin pack for this. It comes with a Freightliner Cascader. You'll need to get off Steam Workshop. It's the 2018 Freightliner Cascader. It's the only one on this on there. Um, and then I've also got another. If you don't have it, it's in the description. But you can grab it right here. Also, here is the link to the trailer. Uh, just put the trailer in there in your, in your uh, trailers. Put the skins for this pack. Just put above the trailer. So that way you get the trailers in both trucks. And the other one is John Rudas. So if you're interested in John Rudas 389, I've got a link for that to his Facebook page. Just send him a message. Say, hey, I'm interested in the 389. I think it's 25. Is it worth it? Yes. Um, it is worth 25 bucks for it. Um, you will spend a lot more time probably driving that truck than you will driving on any two uh, in particular maps. Um, at least it's out there anyway. So at least I'm I'm kind of that way. So anyway, there's those two things. So make sure you grab those and then uh, and then enjoy them. So anyway, like I said, if you guys want to, if you share those out in Facebook groups, just DM me on the Discord. Um, and here, let me go ahead and throw that one out there to you as well. 
So there's that. It'll come through. Um, and then once you uh, once you guys hit the Discord, uh, then just shoot me a DM. It's open for everyone that wants to message me. Uh, there's no worries there. I mean, I, I try to check them when I can, but if there's an influx, I'll try to drop by. If you send me the post to your fr- uh, Facebook page, if I'm in the group, I'll drop by, try to throw a like and comment to it. Um, and appreciate you guys doing that. It's just something, just kind of, you know, showing off something. I don't really have a big, huge social media profile presence anywhere, but I know there's a lot of guys that do like to do that. And I know it's always cool, man, when a guy comes by and, and throws a like and comments on something like that. If you're on Twitter, by the way, follow me. I'm at Full Tilled. Just uh, full, find Full Tilt or FT, actually FTG on Twitter, but um, I am uh, at Full Tilt as my actual handle. Uh, just tag me in a in a in a post and let me know what you got in a tweet there, and I will certainly like and comment on that as well. ATS is not as big on Twitter. Racing definitely was more on Twitter, but uh, definitely not this. So uh, don't forget tomorrow we're giving away another uh, one of Bart's trailers, uh, and that's courtesy of some really fantastic guys in here. So thank you guys, appreciate it. Um, but we'll uh, we'll have that tomorrow. And I'm trying to think what's going to be up this week. I'm gonna. I'm probably going to change it up and maybe do a few things this week. Um, but I'll. Um, I'll try to keep. I'll try to keep going through. Convoy info is going to be Fridays. It will be on ETS two. Saturday will be that. We almost broke a hundred trucks last week, so we'd love to have everybody. And I might just go ahead and roll back down the I five again. I know all of my moderators are rolling their eyes right now, but I might roll back down the I five again. Um, and then, uh, and see what's going on. Hey, what's up, Ozalito? How are you, man? Uh, we might roll back down, uh, the regular map and, and see if we can't bust a hundred trucks this week. We did almost did it last week. Uh, we were about 88, 80, 88, 85 to 90 trucks through the first half of the convo. It's pretty daggum good. So, um, so, but anyway, you guys, uh, y'all, y'all have an, uh, a really good one. Make sure you grab those two links. Um, and then we'll, uh, you know, hopefully, uh, hopefully see some new stuff this week. I've got a new game. I'm dialing in my steering wheel for it. That'll be a recording. I probably won't stream that necessarily. Um, but we'll give away a trailer tomorrow, probably Thursday. I'm probably going to do something fun. Like I'll probably do some rally on Thursday. Uh, we'll set up, we'll get the full setup for rally. I'll have the stream set up totally different for that. Um, if you, let's see, actually, you know what? Let me, let me go back and let me grab. Uh, I don't know if I do rec fest, man. I, I, I tried doing a bunch of multiplayer with that mic. Um, and I got, I got frustrated, man. Um, I'm not going to lie, man. I, I, it was hard to get in servers. Um, uh, once I got in there, I mean, I couldn't control the maps. I couldn't do anything, man. And I was, I was just so nobody joined either. I didn't have anybody to join those. Um, and I don't know that anybody could join them. So I'm not sure what was wrong with it. But it's the same exact problems that I ran into before. Um, so I don't know that I'm going to necessarily spend a lot of effort cause I just don't have a lot of time to, to jump on those things. Um, uh, let me get you guys a link here. So if you want to check it out, you can, yeah, I think this is it. Yeah, this is it. All right. So if you want to go check it out and you'd have no idea, I'm going to go make you go here, check out that video. Um, so that is my latest video with, uh, that's when we did, uh, the pre-release there for WRC nine. Uh, it is top notch is really good. Uh, I really like it. And then you kind of get to see how the setup and stuff's going to look like for rally. Um, it's legit. I've got a couple different camera views. We've got the main widescreen up on top. So it's pretty awesome. So anyway, I think it'd be something you guys will probably um, be worth coming and checking out. So anyway, I may run that Thursday. Um, so if you see it, come and check it out. It should be good. So other than that, bar trailer tomorrow, Convoys Friday and Saturday. Thursday is going to be something fun, hopefully. Uh, and then we'll uh, we'll see what. So, what's up, buddy? Good to see you, man. Grab some new uh, some new uh, skins there, man. Have a good time there. Uh, yes, yeah, so it's for the truck. Yes, it's for the Ruta. So, I've got the Ruta 389, the full sleeper. Uh, the Freightliner Cascadia. And I've got the hauler, which is in the link uh, for this video. So, yes. Yeah, you're right there, Gator. Um, so Devon or uh, Devin, just, uh, hop into the discord. Uh, it is a couple above you there. Um, and so all you need to do is check out, I'll put where it was taken off, where we're going to, uh, land the convoy. Uh, I'll put the exact routing time server, everything. So you can literally be set up and then you'll join into the room with everybody else. And then we'll start driving in super simple truckers. MP is what you want. Google that, uh, truckers MP online for a American truck sim. Um, and, uh, it's, it's, it's a lot of good, man. So <laughs> yeah, I hear you ace. All right. We'll do some shout outs, man. Everybody I can sit here and talk to y'all all night. 
Uh, let's start back to where we at. Where we at here? Let's see. We make make this a little smaller. Uh, also got to start it off there with a couple of fives. There, it's appreciated, Austin, Captain Chaos, Brian King. Man, thank you guys for y'all's fives, double D's there for some Canadian dollars there. Man, all the way from his house there in Canada. Thank you, man. Appreciate it, Jeremy Hart there, uh, and Jesus Espino. Thank you there uh, for your uh, super chats, guys. Connor as well for five. JJ with a big five. Ace of Spades with a twenty and a thirty-five. So thank you there, Ace. Appreciate you, buddy. As always, there, Mister Worldwide, twenty-five dollar donation, and Alan Crawler twenty-two closing us out with a three eighty, and Pop Robinson coming in for the last sub of the night. So thank you guys. Appreciate it as always. Uh, so hopefully we will, guys. We'll see y'all tomorrow. Hopefully, if all things goes well, uh, I should probably see y'all every night till Saturday. So anyway, y'all take it easy. I'll see you here on the next one, guys. We'll see you. Peace out.